Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2 Series, and what is the 2 Series? Well, it's series of powers of 2. So, why might we need to know our powers of 2? I mean, is this what I'm going to talk to my best friend about next time I see him? Probably not, but it's something I might use when I'm doing a math test, or when I'm factorizing, or when I'm trying to do um, powers, and I'm trying to add powers together, I'm trying to get to an answer really fast, or I'm doing math Olympiad questions. There's a bunch of re reasons in mathematics, physics, economics, where you might need to know your powers of two. So, instead of not knowing them, why not acquire that skill and actually know your powers of two? And it's not that hard. So, uh, it's as simple as multiplying two by two, really. I mean, what is two times two? Oh, that's four. What's four times two? That's eight. What's eight times two? Well, that's 16. What's 16 times two? Well, that's 32. 32 times two is 64. 64 times 2 is 128. Okay, now we're getting into tricky territory. 128 times 2 is 256. 256 times 2, well, you got to do 250 times 2, which is 500, and then 6 times 2, which is 12, so it's 512. And then 512 times 2 is 1024. So, what I'd like you to do first is to learn the series. So you go, you know, you can, you can learn the series by multiplying the numbers yourself, like I just did just now, and then try and try and do it like you were, like you're learning music. So you can you can go up and down the octave if you like. So you can go 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 1, 2, 8, 2, 5, 6, 5, 12, 1, 0, 2, 4, and then go down again, 1, 0, 2, 4, 5, 12, 2, 5, 6, 1, 2, 8, 64, 32, 16, 8, 4, 2. And if you know how to paint those numbers in your mind by doing it as a sequence, you'll be able to pinpoint them correctly much easier because the mind works like that. Like if you've got two or three ways of arriving at the same result, your, your connection, your neural connection is going to be a lot stronger. So um, here's what we can do now. If we know the sequence of numbers because we've done the multiplications, we've gone up and down a bunch of times, and okay, we know the sequence uh, in, in itself, this is what we can do. Oh, by the way, there's a game called 2048. It's an app on iPhone and Android. You can play that game too. It's got that sequence of numbers in it. Uh, a lot of the kids play it. So, I don't, you, you know, that might be useful. 2 to the power 5 is 32. So remember that. Put it in your mind. 2 to the power 5 is 32. 2 to the power 5 is 32. What is it again? 2 to the power 5? Oh, yes, 32. 2 to the power 5 is 32. Put that mental marker out there. And then put a mental marker for 2 to the power 10 and say 2 to the power 10 is 1,024. That's not too hard because it starts with a 10 and then you just have to add the 24. Well, if you know that 2 to the 5 is 32 and 2 to the 10 is 1,024, what is 2 to the power 9? Oh, 512 is the one before. What's 2 to the power 4? Oh, it's 16. It's the one before 32. What's 2 to the power 6? It's 64. What's 2 to the power 7? There's that one, 128. What's 2 to the power 8? Oh, that one, 256. So try and understand that this sequence goes from 1 to 10. 2 to the power 1, 2 to the power 2, 2 to the power 3, 2 to the power 4, 2 to the power 6, 2 to the power 7, 8, 9, and 10. And 2 to the 5 is 32, and 2 to the 10 is 1024. Just put them in your mind, don't forget them. So 2 to the power 7, 128. 2 to the power 4, 16. 2 to the power 11, oh, that's a trick question, because it's not on the board. Well, it's 1,024 times 2, so 2,048, right? 2048. Um, and this is how you can learn to not have to remember powers of 2, but to be able to find them whenever you want. So that there's no, there's no question in your mind what 2 to the power 7 is, or 2 to the power 9 is, or 2 to the power 11, or 2 cubed, or 2 to the power 4. Um, so yeah, 2 to the power 4 is 16. It's the one before 32. And so as long as you pinpoint the series first, and you put two mental markers in your mind, that's it. You'll know how to do powers of 2, just like that. So um, if you like the material we're putting out and the content, then please make sure to support us and like and subscribe and subscribe to the channel. Um, you can find us on Instagram at MathematicMD, you can find us on Facebook, uh, HL Mathematic, and uh, remember that math comes easy when you've got good math tricks, or well, math comes easy with Mathematic. Thank you so much for watching today. See you next time.